je t'aime Tu le sais déjà Il prendra ta couche Il prendra ta bouche Et m'enterrera Hello viewers It's I, James Com, the half ass reporter, the guy on the bike, welcoming back our culture cult. And uh, we are on Grand Street on the Lower East Side. We're gonna uh, pop in here to the James Cohen Gallery. And. Thank you. We're gonna look at an exhibition by Michelle Grabner. Well, I should probably start out with a little disclaimer. Uh, I have had some contact with Michelle Grabner uh, and 2014, she was one of the co-curators of the Whitney Biennial. And uh, about a year before that opened, she came by my studio to uh, view the work. And she was very uh, cordial, very nice. And uh, I didn't get into the show, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, at least she made the effort. And in that way, I think she's probably as far as I'm concerned, about the best curator that the Whitney's had in the last 25 years. Well, we'll start looking at this piece. This is Untitled 2021. Ceramic and brass tiles. And it says here on the press release, I believe that uh, this was a site-specific installation for the art preserve at the John Michael Kohler Art Center, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So, uh, oh, maybe Michelle has reconfigured it for the installation here. Okay, so what? Uh, some of these are brass, and uh, so she's got some paintings in here, some of her plaid paintings. I was uh, kind of looking at this and thinking about uh, 1950s, 1960s architecture. And uh, it's got kind of a, I don't know what they would call that. The, uh, wasn't exactly the Imes style. We'll just follow the little the guide here. This is untitled 2021 oil and enamel on linen on panel. Well, even before Michelle came by for a studio visit, uh, I'd seen her work in a couple of shows in Chelsea. And at the time she was doing in a very obsessive kind of process oriented painting. A lot of it was dealing with dots of paint and sort of building them up in spirals. Okay, this is titled, Untitled 2021, Bronze, Patinaed Bronze and Found Jam Jar Lids in Relief and Solid Soft Maple Wood Panel. And uh, well, I was kind of impressed with her work then because uh, in a certain way it uh, referenced artists like uh, Agnes Martin and some other people that were very kind of process oriented. This is also untitled 2021 oil on linen on panel. Now, okay, I would be, I would be hard pressed looking at these to figure out exactly what the process is, whether these are just uh, 
hand painted. So this one looks like the paint is actually maybe uh, squeegeed through a scrim, but I'm thinking that uh, Michelle's probably, I don't know, painting these by hand and, uh, or maybe starting with something and then adding something else, some kind of frottage or something and then painting on top. But part of her practice or at least her ideas or what's driving her, the process or the performative part of this is the, uh, the idea of women's art, the weaving, the working with fabrics and uh, those kinds of things, but kind of translated into a kind of obsessive conceptual painting framework. I'll read a little bit from the press release. Central to the, to the work is process. Grabner references Penelope's clever ploy of weaving by day and unweaving at night, which keeps the suitors at bay in Homer's Ithaca. Like Penelope, Grabner finds a generative space for mending, healing, and wool gathering within her unique system of de-weaving and filling in. Like Penelope, who uses the coded language of shroud making to bring about change, Grabner uncovers new dynamic relationships through a visionary practice of repetition with a deep attention to abstract patterns and all the metaphors they conjure. Grabner pushes the limits of compositional structures to discover the tipping point between stability and precariousness between continents and wondrous difference. Untitled. Patinaed bronze and found jar, jam jar lids in relief on solid mahogany panel. Well, I think it's uh, interesting to note her use of these oxidized and patina, patinaed. They look like lids, but she might have made those from casts and then playing that off with her jar lids with the, the plaids on there. This is kind of an interesting, very subtle piece. Untitled, 21 by 17. It's oil and enamel on linen. Well, I seem to remember that uh, Michelle had a show here in New York maybe four or five years ago, five or six. And uh, involved in installation and I think she actually worked on the the project with her daughter it's untitled 2021 oil and enamel on linen on panel 13 by 10 it's a little color variation um, anyway she had a lot of paintings that kind of related to this that were plaids and she literally had them stacked up as I remember and uh, I think it was Ken Johnson said something to the effect that uh, something about this was like the kind of art that a housewife would make, something like that. And uh, 
kind of made a reference to the fact that uh, maybe Michelle was working on this with her daughter and uh, boy, poor Ken Johnson was, uh, was ravaged for that. Untitled. This is solid walnut. And again, she's actually the, uh, the color variations are nice, but okay, here's one of the things that she's picked up on is that it uh, seems like the plaid is a classic note of good housekeeping, which relates to what I was talking about with the, uh, the Ken Johnson thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, there were a lot of people writing, I guess, into the New York Times to criticize that particular review. And uh, I always thought that uh, being a mother and having a family and being creative and teaching your children to uh, be creative was a pretty high calling and so I guess this all depends on how you interpret these things. Well, this is the biggest piece in the show. It's untitled, this is 45 by 45. And I'm looking at this and kind of thinking about uh, some kind of embroidered fabric or lace kind of woven together with the patterns and gaps and spaces in the fabric in certain places. Oh, and this one is uh, on a straight panel, so she hasn't covered this with linen. This is on splatted Elmwood. Okay, the other thing I'm noticing is that uh, some of these are recessed into the panels. Some of them stand up more on top of the panels. And, uh, well, I don't know how many of you had <laughs> mothers that did canning, but I sure did. And, uh, God, we'd spend about, uh, we can have in the fall around harvest time with uh, huge boiling pots and uh, bell jars and uh, all kinds of stuff making uh, jams and jellies and bottling pickles and remember apricots. Untitled 2021. It says here in the press release that uh, Michelle is also the founder and co-director of two nonprofit art spaces in Wisconsin, the Suburban and the Poor Farm, with her husband and artist, Brad Killam. So, uh, yeah, Michelle is a, not only a, an artist, mother, curator, educator, and an activist, This is 25 by 25, 
2021. I would actually be interested to know uh, how much time Michelle works on these and how much she uh, designs them. You know, she's actually painting the warps and the woofs. She's got a little, uh, <laughs> she's got a warp in her warp. Untitled, this is 24 by 17, and this is also mahogany. And it is kind of uh, of interesting to of interest to note the kind of uh, elegance that you can get when you sort of reduce things down and use one of these uh, beautiful slabs of hardwood. I wonder how much she's uh, tinted or stained these before she presents them. Untitled, 24 by 18. Well, I was talking about how I think that uh, Michelle might be influenced by people like Agnes Barton. And, uh, well, there was also a, an art movement in the 70s into the 80s called the Pattern Decorative, and a lot of that was dealing with patterns and uh, kind of the conceptual process of creating a pattern and filling the space and uh, I think Michelle is kind of doing that. Also the support surface group from France, I think they're from the south of France, but uh, Michelle is going for a much more subtle play of that. And guys, this is probably the most uh, complex composition of the uh, lid top panel pieces. It's also solid mahogany, so that's probably at least uh, three or four pounds of mahogany. Untitled, this is 15 by 15. And this might just be the paint head part of me, but I'm also thinking that there is a, uh, a relationship to Robert Ryman here in that uh, yeah, Michelle is dealing with a kind of a whole spectrum, <laughs> or at least a, a little slice of the spectrum of whites, and also the uh, the various painting materials. So we've got oil and enamel, and probably various uh, solvents and things like that that she's mixing in there. James Com here at the James Cohen Gallery reporting on Michelle Grabner. He 
you can like this, share, connect it up to all your social media sites, and you can subscribe. And we ask you to leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. But we just ask you to say thank you, Kate. Daniel. Yeah. No, no, I don't take money. <laughs>